His Mandarin is definitely not perfect. Hi guys, it's Jessie here. If you guys are interested in languages, I'm sure you guys know this YouTuber. He's famous for shocking people on the street by speaking their native language in the perfect way. Almost all of this video's titles are White Guy Speaks Perfect Chinese, White Guy Speaks Perfect Mandarin, Shocks Local. First of all, the title itself doesn't sound Chinese at all. I mean, if you know anything about Chinese culture, we don't like to brag things like that. It just sounds really arrogant and cheap. I mean, I know, of course, it's for the clickbait. Yeah, I know all that, but still, what does perfect mean? It means I've seen it all, I've known it all. There's nothing out there for me to learn anymore. I'm good enough. That's perfect. It's, it's nothing personal. I just don't like the attitude. But it's just me though. I'm kind of old-fashioned when it comes to languages. I don't even like using Chinese buzzwords. So I'm the weirdo here. Today, after his videos were in my recommended list for like a hundred times, I've decided to give it a watch. I don't know, maybe it'll change my mind. Maybe his Chinese is that perfect. Maybe that's why he's so confident about it. Okay, now let's watch it. This video has 66 million views. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have watched it. Um, it's posted last year. Okay, so it's not that long ago. Okay, that was good. That was pretty good. Um, all of the tones are cracked and the pronunciation is good. It's fast, it's fluent. Okay, so far so good. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Xiaomai. Today we are in New York City, Chinatown. It's amazing. It's funny that he's speaking English now, but all I noticed is how he pronounced his name, his Chinese name, Xiaoman. This is a common thing for American people who speak Chinese. They would keep the nasal sound like when they're speaking English. That's why a lot of American people would pronounce Ni Hao as Ni Hao, Ni Hao, Ni Hao. Both of the characters are third tone, but when two third tones are together, the first third tone becomes the second tone. So Xiao Ma becomes Xiao Ma. Xiao Ma, Xiao Ma. Okay, let's keep watching. Mushroom with duck flat. Oh, fish, fish duck. This is very good. This is very Oh, it's Cantonese. Okay, it's Cantonese then. We're gonna need the expert. Let me see it. You like it? This is very What do you think? Do you need to listen to it one more time? Yeah, it's good. You say it again. Okay, that was good. Let's see his Mandarin. I'm no expert of Cantonese. Okay, about that, how he pronounced fish. Um, this is a actually really tricky sound to pronounce, especially for like uh, English speakers. Is this First, try to pronounce the E Lee Tree And then try to slowly round your mouth E Like that And then add the tones For fish, is the second tone E E I have no idea what that is Fish dumplings I really want to eat it It's like a new one It's like a new one It's like a new one Actually, the way he pronounced are pretty good, like how It's kind of hard to pronounce, but he did it well. Wait, um, okay. His C C C aren't that good. At least all I can hear now. People who speak English might pronounce it as jiao. Can you tell the difference? Jiao, jiao, like joke. George. But in Chinese, this initial is pronounced as ji, ji, jiao. It's not bad though. It's definitely not bad. People can understand him. He's fluent. He can speak it fast. But, you know, he declared himself to be perfect. So we're gonna judge in perfect criteria, right? It's <laughs> kind of like mine. It's just that when we're trying to speak Cantonese, we would think in Mandarin. That's why when he's trying to say a little, he says Because in Mandarin, it's 小, little, small. But in Cantonese, that would be Let me see it. Hey. <laughs> yeah, like that.
That's good. Again, this sound he pronounced Beijing, 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 Beijing. The correct pronunciation would be 练习习 not 习练习练习不练习的话就会退步 But I do agree with what he said. It's about practice. He said his family are all American, so he had to get out to practice and make YouTube videos. But anyway, that is a really good way to improve your language skill. It doesn't matter which language you're speaking; you have to practice. Well, for me, I'm not that extroverted to go out and practice the language with. Strangers that would kill me. So I admire his courage to do that. So if you're an introvert just like me, you can just talk to yourself. Or if you're into movies and TV shows like me, just imitate how they talk, the intonation, how they pronounce it, their facial expression, how they use it, everything. Just imitate everything. That really worked for me. Okay, let's keep watching. Oh, 然后这个的话是可以你先跟反过来。Okay, this is another major difference between Chinese and English is how we pronounce un, un. But in English, the closest would be an, and, man, fan, fan. No, 不敢当，不敢当。Oh, look at that! So he is humble, 不敢当 That's really humble, and that's authentic Chinese. Not just the language, also the culture. Okay, I'm getting to like him. Nice. 那这样的话，我就来刚去奶茶吧，然后再加一个鸡蛋炒菜粉。Okay, again, 再加一个加 means like plus at 加。是呀，但是先请问一下，这个菜单上面写的这个北京不是味精可以选吗？真的吗？没有味精吗 ？MSG, my favorite. You have to add it in every dish. MSG is king of flavor. Again, 味精，味精。因为我自己很喜欢味精。啊。Look at him! He's got taste. He really likes MSG. MSG make everything better. Okay, so I just watched this video. You know what? That did change my mind about him or about his videos. Still don't like the title, but he's humble and he likes MSG. He's learning Cantonese apparently. It turns out we have a lot in common. Well, his Mandarin is definitely not perfect, but it's good. It's really good. Almost, Almost as good as, good as my English. English. <laughs> just joking. But seriously, I really respect what he's doing. You know, going on the streets and talk to people in Chinese, and you know, with. Millions of views. That definitely has brought attention to Chinese language and culture. That's awesome. I'm trying to do the same thing as well. So for that, 小马很棒 Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.